so this is my little stationary shelf. I'm going to start with the top shelf. On the top shelf are all my colouring textures and pencils for my anatomy and physiology colouring book. So I've got a whole bunch of textures here, all different colours. I think there's about 30 something of them. And then I have all my colouring pencils here too. Oops. There's about 36 of them in there. So that's quite a lot. Um, I think they were about um, $15. And the clear little pen cup I have it in is was about $5 from Officeworks. Okay, so onto the second shelf. This here is my little highlighter holder thing. Okay, so I saw on Tumblr, I think it was, uh, people stole their highlighters and these lipstick holders so I thought why not I mean it looks really good it stores my highlighters and I it's it's very sufficient um, also these high sorry I forgot to mention <clears throat> these highlight highlighters are the stave latex of uh, classic highlighters so I, I got this six pack for about maybe six dollars and fifty cents and this this um, lipstick holder was about ten dollars but I already had it and I wasn't using it anymore so okay so whenever I'm writing something this is the pen holder I go straight to uh, I've got my pencils here my Stadler I'm not too sure how to pronounce that brown but you get what I mean my Stadler 2B pencils here they work really well because these are the pencils we're meant to use in exams at our university. And I also like to write stuff. <laughs> I also like to use these to write anything that I don't need to be concrete, if you get what I mean. I can just erase it out. It's a lot easier than pen and highlighter. Okay, so these are my favorite pens. The big Atlantis pens. These write so smoothly. And they're my absolute favorite pens. Um, I got the pencils in about a pack of 12 for about $6.50. And these were leftover pencils from last year. These pens here, there's a bit more here, but I usually get these in a pack of four for $4. Okay. And this pen cup here also was from Officeworks for about $5. Okay, so here is my little whiteboard marker pen cup. Because I have a whiteboard, I really like to use these whiteboard markers, obviously. Um, I have them in black, green, pink, purple, red, blue, and orange. Uh, the the brand Artline for the black I like to use whoops the Artline 577 and for the Artline 579 is the one I like to use for color I usually like to use color on my whiteboard because I'm a very visual person and colors just look good to me they were about five dollars each at Officeworks I know that's quite a lot but they're really good quality. It was really hard to find colored whiteboard markers at a really good quality. They definitely were five dollars each. I also got this pen cup for five dollars at Officeworks. Now to the next pen cup. This is sort of my colored pen pen cup. Oh gosh, and th these colors here are what I use to color code everything and just write headings and everything like that. This pack came in, I mean it came in a pack and it costs maybe like $2.50 for, and there was, an, there was two sets of each color so the other set is in my pencil case just there. Okay, so now on to the next ones. These are the Bic Atlantis pens, but I'm not my, I'm not really a big fan of these, but I may use them, so I keep them in here. These are the Papermate pens. I just like to use these pens 
these mostly to just write in forms and this mostly to write if something needs to stand out in my notes I write in red okay so these here are just paper mate pens because I really like the way these ones here write and this is sort of the same make so I wanted to see how they work for me I really do like them but I don't like the I don't like them as much as my Atlantis pens up there okay so now on to the bottom shelf this here is my little what are these things called again punch hole punch this is my little hole punch here so one second I will somehow figure out how to do this while holding the camera Okay, so what I like most about this hole punch is it has a little thing here that you can pull it out and so I'm trying to find the 20 the A4 mark. So this is so it can staple it can staple A4 paper properly. This is sort of a little measurement tool and it can go all the way up to about a five A4. Yeah, that's it, A4 there. Yeah, so I really like using this. I can only staple about um, 10 pages at a time, but it was, I really like it, and it was cheap compared to some of the other ones I've seen out there. This cost me about $6, I think, at Officeworks. Okay, and now onto the rest. This is my little stapler that my nan bought me. I just like to use it just to staple random. Uh, it's not the one I use for my station, like for my uni work though. This here is tape, of course, and this thing here is my little sticky notes folder type thing. I've got a whole bunch of sticky notes, and I just keep them in this little. Sorry, keep them in this little thing here to-do list one, just all different types of colours and yeah, leaving little ones down there and I keep my pen here because this is what I like to use on them. And usually when I go to uni this is what I pack in my bag as well because I do use these a lot. Alright, and now on to my pencil case. Okay, so most of the stuff in this pencil case you have already seen up here because I've just doubled them and into here. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Okay, so here are the pens that I showed you all, the Papermate coloured pens. Okay, here are another, another set of the highlighters that I have just up here. There, there just up there. And sorry, I'll shift those out of the way. I have a white out in here. I should really have two, but I just have one in there. I have scissors in case I need to cut something or someone asks me for scissors, you never know. Same with this, you never know. That's just glue stick by the way. I don't know if you saw that or not, but this here is my little sharpener that I use for my pencils. And this here are just a pair of, um, this here is just a pair of earphones that I may need to use while listening to a lecture in the study room. This is just a little ruler that I like to use in class and everything like that. It's just small and it fits in my, um, pencil case, so. And here are some other paperweight pens. I don't think you saw the red, but this is where they are. And I keep them in there for writing in blue and which I use for forms mostly and writing in red when I need to make something stick out in my notes. And here is a little mini stapler. How freaking cute is this? It's so small. Um, this is a J. Burroughs one. It's very small and I think it was only like um, three, four dollars, something like that. 
Oh, and it already has its staples in there, but I will show you my staple stash anyway. And of course, my big Atlantis pens. No doubt about that. And my pencils, which I've already shown you guys, but yeah. And this is my eraser. I like to use the Stable Mars plastic erasers because they just work the best for me. These are the erasers I like to use, so yeah. Okay, so obviously this pencil case is a pencil case I take to uni with me in my bag. So it had to be as compact as possible but still fit everything in it, so I feel like I did a good job there. Okay, sorry for the weird lighting change, but it was really shadowy down here, so I turned on my little lamp that I also got for Christmas. And yeah, so these here are my antibacterial wipes that I'm going to be using for my laptop, phone, binders. I'm using this for everything that comes into contact in clinicals. So I just don't want to get sick from anything so i'll wipe my laptop down and my binder down and everything with these alcohol wipes this is just hand sanitizer i just have that there i don't know why and here is my whiteboard cleaning solution so every now and then i'll just wipe down my whiteboard with this and it just helps it keep it nice and clean and bright i didn't intend to have this piece of paper on here but I was filming part one of this video and I just thought it looked cool, so I did that, but yeah. This is actually going to be for clinicals. So I'm going to be using this to take into clinicals if I need to. And the worst comes to worst, I wipe it down with the little antibacterial wipes. Okay, this is just my uh, daily binder that I plan to be using. And so pretty much, this is just what I'm going to take, going to be taking to uni with my uh, lecture slides and everything like that, and everything I'm going to be studying that day. And I also have a little notepad in here, but I just put my orientation week questions because that is on Monday, and I want to be prepared. And yeah, that's about it. Also, what I did do to this little binder was I put. This little, I put a, I put a copy of my timetable on the back of it with all my room numbers on it. So I'm not going to be showing you guys that properly because my room numbers are on there. But yeah, I just put that on the back there. So whenever I'm wondering what class I got next and what time, it's right on the back. All the times are right there. Okay, so this here is my little art diary that I'm going to be using for anatomy and physiology. So pretty much, I haven't finished this, but I'm just going to be doing visual stuff like this because it's going to help me learn. Okay, so here are my binders, and this is what I mean by color coding. So I color coded the Clinical Nursing Practice 1 binder, pink. I mean, so I color coded the... Clinical Nursing Practice 1 binder with pink and I've got my matching highlighter, pen and whiteboard marker. Um, then I've got my communication for nursing and midwifery subject binder and also all the and also the whiteboard marker, highlighter and pen. And sec and thirdly the and thirdly, the BM10, so that's just pretty much the anatomy and physiology one subject. And I've got the whiteboard marker, highlighter, and pen. And then the last one is my midwifery subject, so that's just the introduction to midwifery. And I've got the highlighter, whiteboard marker, and pen. So that's what I mean by colour coding, guys. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all of it. I'm just probably going to show you my bag now. Okay, so this here is my uni bag that I just bought yesterday. It has quite a few zips. I'm trying to show you this without zooming in too much and only one hand, but it has the big 
the big zip here and that has room for a laptop and a little tablet down there but I only have a laptop so I'll only be using it for a laptop. It has three more zips, one here, one here and one here. So I felt that was really convenient for me. It's a very sturdy bag, it was like $50 so yeah. Alright so here is my whiteboard, it's a pretty big whiteboard and I got this for about $50. I like to rewrite my notes on a whiteboard and sort of use colour with them because that sort of helps me remember it. That's just what works for me. Okay so part three will be about my um, clinical supplies so please stay tuned. Hi guys, thank you so much for being so patient. I've just been incredibly busy. I guess the biggest challenge for me in studying nursing and midwifery was managing all of my time and getting used to... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit sick, but getting used to all of the workload because it's so intense. But now I've sort of got it all figured out. I will attach some images for you guys so you can see what I've been up to in the past few weeks. Now I definitely have time to be uploading videos so you guys definitely don't have to worry about that. Hopefully I'll be able to upload videos every two weeks now. So next week I will be hopefully uploading part 3 of this series and I will also be giving you guys an update if that's what you would, would like. But once again, thank you guys so much for being so patient with me. It's just very hard transitioning into nursing and midwifery school. Thank you guys so much for understanding and thank you so much for watching. And I will be talking to you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.